teach them that when we are courting to get married and we are in our courtship process we don't cook for a man we don't wash for a man we don't sleep in a man's house let them know that church is not a place to come chase women let them know that church is not a place to come and chase men let them know that church is not a place to snatch husbands teach them that you can't sleep with girls and stand on this altar teach them teach them teach them that one man cannot propose to four ladies in one church sowing seeds of discord in the hearts of the daughters of zion teach them teach them that the fact that they become very successful and they push their money onto the altar doesn't mean we cannot tell the truth to them when they go for teach them they cannot buy the spirit of god and they cannot buy the altar of god and they cannot buy the anointing of god teach them they cannot buy the presence of god teach them teach them if they have a pure heart and clean hands i the lord will command my blessing upon them teach them that if they fear me i will lay a table before them in the presence of their enemies i will give them a miracle a sign when they go out i shall be with them when they come in i shall be teach them that i make a way where there is no way i cause streams of living water to gush out in the desert place if they will believe me I will open heaven and give them bread teach them if they serve the Lord their God he will bless their bread and their water there will be none barren among them teach them teach them that the Christians Nothing on earth takes you by surprise. Brush your teeth regularly. Deal with your tongue. Take care of your armpit. Umotuam ungash. Deal with it. Umotuam. Take care of wahem wahem. Deal with wahem. Everybody, take care of utu. Me me You people don't like truth. Take care of your mouth. Brush your teeth regularly. Deal with your tongue. Take care of your armpit. Umotuam ungash. Deal with it. Umotuam. Take care of wahem wahem. Deal with wahem. Everybody, take care of utu. Me me kasem tiri. You people don't like truth because the house of God have been turned into the den of thieves. The house of God have been turned into a, a pivot of exploitation, deception, manipulation, seduction. The house of God have been a place of ridicule. The house of God have been turned into playing grounds for charlatans to come and display their words. The house of God has turned into the place where we showcase and exhibit flesh and carnality the house of god now has become the place where the people go to hear nonsense and madness the house of god now has turned into the place where the people go to chase girls and, and go and snatch husbands and go and snatch people's wives the house of god has now turned into all kinds of madness where the people don't fear god anymore the house of God have been turned into the place that the moment you begin to talk against sin, iniquity, transgression, and wickedness.
preachers the preachers will tell you to tone down because they themselves are struggling with the standards of God the house of God has now turned into the place where the ridicule the holy things like speaking in tongues and the Holy Ghost the content of the gospel is of your mouth brush your teeth regularly deal with your tongue take care of your armpit deal with it take care of wahem wahem deal with wahem everybody take care of utumu you people don't like truth take care of your mouth brush your teeth regularly deal with your tongue take care of your armpit deal with it take care of wahem wahem deal with wahem you begin to talk against sin iniquity transgression and wickedness the preachers will tell you to tone down because they themselves are struggling with the standards of god the house of god has now turned into the place i will not forget what you done for me thank you lord i will not forget what you done for me thank you lord i will not forget what you done for me Thank you, Lord. I will not forget what you done for me. Thank you, Lord. I will not forget what you done for me. Thank That is why your name, oh God, is forevermore. You be faithful, God. You be faithful, God. Oh Lord, for me, Jesus. That is why. It's all because of you And you are the reason Why I lift my hands Why I lift my voice Why I sing to you oh, You are the Say 
reason they kept us in hospitals but you are the reason we felt that we raise up you are the reason in the accident but you are the reason you kept us by your love oh God. you kept us by your love oh God. you kept us by your prayer So we come to do Casting your eyes We lift in hands hey, We bow in heart It's all we come to do Tonight Adonai yeah. Adonai Can I hear you sing it? Hey, hey, hey. Adonai Stand against the Lord. Hey, hey, hey. 
No one can, no one will, no one will. Oh, 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 oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to The center of it all is you that I see in our relationship. It's you that I see at the center of it all tonight. He says, At the center of it all, it's you that we see. It's you that we see at the center of it all. Say. At the center of it all, it's you that we see, God. It's you that I see. At the center of it all, for the last time, say. At the center of it, it's you that we see. It's you that I see. There is power on me. Spirit, I will open up his 
fire She provides the fire Power by the sacrifice She yeah. provides the spirit Jesus is your lover. Say amen. amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Can you help me with my monitors? You know, let's turn the monitors towards me. And hallelujah. Stand to your feet. Let's pray. Father, thank you. You have got that into this place. The prophetical emergent generation. A people purchased with the blood of Christ. Anointed, mandated, empowered, endowed, and you have granted us grace to flow in your presence tonight. 24th of December, we could have been anywhere else, but I've chosen to be in your presence because in your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. I give you thanks. I pray in the name of Jesus that your spirit will take absolute charge. 
total preeminence, total uh, domination. Rebuke every interference, intrusion, interruption, every demonic presence we rebuke. And ask in the name of Jesus that your presence will take absolute charge and you will have your way in the lives of your dear people. In the precious name of Christ Jesus, we have prayed. Somebody shout amen. amen. Clap your hands before we will take our seats. Before we will take our seats, I'm going to let us read a very popular scripture. Right after that, I will allow us to take our seat. Hosea, the fourth chapter, the sixth verse. Hosea, chapter four, and verse number six. Hosea, chapter four, verse six. Very popular scripture. You possibly didn't know this is where it was. Can you please use the old um, software for me, please? Thank you. Hosea, chapter four, and verse six. The Bible said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee and thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children may God bless the reading of his word can you change this please quickly and then let us run through the versions nicely and uh, see how it goes um, sound please you're doing very bad uh, whatever it is fix it back and let us know where we're going Hosea chapter 4 and verse number 6 I would like us to go to about five versions and look at it very well. NLT first, let us look at NLT first. My people are being destroyed because they don't know me. Since you priests refuse to know me, I refuse to recognize you as my priest. Since you have forgotten the laws of your God, I will forget to bless your children. Wow. Wow. Message version. Let's read together. Message version of the Bible. Ready and go. My people are ruined because they don't know me. They don't know what the what's right. Wow. Let's go further. Because Wow. Amplified. Let's read the amplified version. Right after that, we will do the GNT and we are done. Amplified. Ready and go. For lack of knowledge, come on. Have rejected knowledge. Seeing you have forgotten the law of your God, I will also forget your children. Let's read the GNT quickly and then I will take, uh, allow you to take your seats. Ready and go. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. You may be seated and uh, welcome somebody that is sitting next to you. Just say hi. <laughs> Hallelujah. Merry Christmas to all of you. Everybody that is watching is going to be brief but deep and straight by the grace of God. I have come to a realization uh, that the born again uh, Christians of my time um, especially in my generation um, we do love talk um, I have four editions of love talk in a year I start off in a year 
with the February 14th edition. This year, we went to Kumase for the February 14th edition. It was amazing. It was amazing. Then we have the April edition. This year, we had a virtual edition of the April edition of Love Talk. And then we have the grand edition. The one we had at the... What, what's the place? The National Theater of Ghana. We have the grand edition. And then we have the Christmas edition. The 24th of December, we will have Love Talk. Um, I think that is going to be two weeks now. Today is Thursday. Saturday is going to be two weeks exactly. My biological father passed on to be uh, with the Lord. So I decided, um, let me honor him uh, by just calling off the Christmas edition of Love Talk. And uh, let me just invite, as the Lord is leading me, the singles only. You are married, it's good that you came. It will be something that will help you uh, in terms of impacting to the next generation. It will be a great blessing to us. So, uh, I mean, when you are loaded within yourself, it will go further to be a blessing to somebody who is also you know, uh, not here. And so if you are married, fine. But this particular one is what I call singles round table. Let all singles come together and uh, we can be able to come together and uh, enjoy the goodness of the Lord in the presence of God. Now, let bring back the scripture and let us look at some few things that have been outlined in this particular scripture and then we can be able to work. In this version, he said, my people are doomed. My people. Not the people of the world. My people. Not in Ipa, a Tibonim. My people. They are doomed. For lack of knowledge. I realize that we have become so spiritual to the point that we have neglected knowledge. I see so many single people in the house of God. Sometimes I am beginning to believe that, you know, uh, the, your friends, your colleagues at work and places are, you know, beginning to think they are having fun. And the people that know the light, so many things in the A little base will help me. So, I would like us to, you know, build up on the word of the Lord. Because here, yeah, it matters. This scripture that we read, it is the content of God's word. But it matters. It matters. The Lord grants somebody some discerning ability to know that then we can acknowledge. So he is saying, my people, my people, the people whose names are written in the book of life, they perish because, of, because they lack knowledge. I, I, I don't want to, you know, turn this into preaching and then I miss exactly the message which the Lord has sent me to present to you. But there are four kinds of single people in the Bible. Let's talk Bible. There are single people. And I want to talk to you about those Esuja 4. I'm not getting a refinement at all, please. A suja for a hoodwo and I push me up on these things. Let me hear, you know, the thing in the front. A suja for a hoodwo and I. And they are all in one scripture. Matthew chapter 13 from verse number 3. The Bible said that Jesus speak a parable. He presented a parable. And I will want to use the opportunity to just let us outline this. 
in the King James Version, the Bible said, and he speak another parable unto them that the sower went to sow his seed or went forth to sow his seed. And as he was sowing, and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside and the fowls came and devoured them. In verse number five, the Bible said, and some fell on stony places. Where they had no much earth and fall with his sprung up because it had no depthness. The Bible said, When the sun came up, you will be smart for me on that thing. They were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. In the next verse, the Bible is saying, And some fell on thorns, and the thorns sprung and choked them. In verse number 8, the Bible said the other fell on good ground and brought forth some a hundredfold, some a sixtyfold, and some a thirtyfold. But let's go back and let's look at the predominant words that, you know, worked up there. From verse number 4, listen to how it worked. In verse number 4, the Bible said, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside. Everybody say wayside. This is the kind of single people ah, they are still in school they get themselves pregnant and all that. This is the first kind of single people. They tested sex whilst they were teenagers. 13 years. 15 years. That kind of single people. Single people are okusku badonyem go and write your exam that is the first kind of single people that is in the bible the bible calls them they are wayside single people i am not trying to talk to a congregation who are perfect what has a past true uh, you are quiet for my liking true true be our past some of us our past we we wish we don't even remember them i don't <laughs> wait here if you may have more said yes i'm making as a woman to me do you have a past yeah I mean, most of us, we have a very nasty past. Pa! Should I review some of the past things? Oh, please. Say amen. Amen. <laughs> Past be wo ha, we should be na catch the new be jaw. Straight, we ni past anymore. Just by telling them your past, they will leave you. Just by telling your past, they will leave you. There are people here who have already committed by five abortions right now. Oh, five in the Israel. Five. Israel. I know I have met people who have committed 11 abortions. One person. Can I develop? Can I go further? Whoopa! My main for microphone in Mamo. One by one. Now on Kron Kron and Madawso. So we be cano kure, kabe ten semwa ebe ten wa. Hallelujah. The people past are so nasty; they have slept with their own brothers and sisters. Serious. We be make make a past. Some of the past are so nasty that. 
to the point that the people you committed these things with sometimes what about alabasta forest and bible because here and i love talk that will be shiano who now we have they know they know <laughs> hallelujah praise the name of the Lord <laughs> the second kind of singles are those singles the Bible calls them stony places. Stony places. Those are the kind of singles, listen to this very carefully. The kind of singles that never know love until this guy promises you love. I love you girl. Do you remember the first time you received a love letter? The first time you received a love letter. Dear sunshine. By the dazzling brightness of the day. It has elated and given me the opportunity. To write you. The love thoughts of my heart. By the tingling strength of my pen. I pitch my heart to the paper. And ask the flying birds to carry my love to you. Dear, yes, yes. <laughs> what you all love letter that Eddie Akoma girl be, and my girl Eddie Akwachiren and Namfo, and my Wu Chemua, Omo Osha Utimus and Atija. A teacher. <laughs> a teacher. The name for it to me for us a hair crash of brown natural bro for Fusa. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Stony places are those people who have. The, the English verb or the vocabulary will call them naive. They are innocent. They haven't seen anything like disappointment, betrayal. They haven't seen anything like that. Their hearts have never been broken before. Those are the stony places singles. They go into a relationship without any reservations. They love. They love with all their life. Then they realize that everything that has been told them was a lie. Oh, I want to talk to you. Relationships and lies. Unbelievable. Enter. 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 So, oh, enter. The Bible said in Numbers chapter 23, I am not a man, God is not a man that he should lie. That means that men lie. Oh, men can lie. Oh, my God. Lakamoke amale. Oh, God. My Lord. Jesus. O but tongues, but Odintro. Gi Roman Dazi. But he can lie. On top of tongues. It's going to be good tonight, you know. Oh, it's going to be very good tonight. I'm starting very slow, but I'll pick up very soon. Say amen. Then when the stony places single realizes that I have been lied to. Instantly, his or her heart is broken. And they take a position. If this is how relationships are, then I will not give my heart wholly to any woman or to any man. 
Those are the number two kind of singles. Then let me go to the third category of singles. In that particular verse, now we are in verse number five. Verse number five. Okay, let's go to verse six then. In verse number six, the Bible said, and when the spun, it, it withered wither away. Let's go to verse number seven. In verse seven, the Bible said, and some fell on thorns. These are the people, the kind of singles that go into marriage or relationship. It doesn't work. They break up. They go into another one. It doesn't work. They break up. They go into another one. There are people like that in this place. There are people who have been through multiple relationships. There are people here who have been married before. Now they are single. There are people who have been married twice. Now they are single. I met a single woman on Tuesday night. She told me that I have been married twice. All my husbands are dead. So she is single. So my point is very simple. We don't have the same kind of singles. I am going to tell you the last kind of singles. It will amaze you. The last kind of singles are very interesting ones. Those ones are married. They can marry or they can be with married couples. They are single. But many will be a That kind of singles. Singles that are bisexuals. I am single, but I can sleep with a man and a woman at the same time. Trumu trumu, but at the same time into an engine hole at the same time. Can I be open with you tonight? Yeah, I'm going to go deep. Very, very deep. Very deep. We, we're going deep. Yeah. I realize that church don't talk about certain things. Love talk, that is what God told me. What the church don't talk about, you go talk about it. Yeah. The church doesn't talk about sex. We don't talk about feelings. We feel that we are too spiritual to talk about feelings. Somebody is getting attracted to somebody and they are afraid to even share their feelings. And I, I want to talk to you. Obi wano mwa ope wubi ope so oware no enye mpuna che ope so anene tena ebobra but oye den koka Tongsa anka wabwewi li murunta disa unimobo but unim sedia yesi wabape. So we bring all that into a forum and we begin to talk without any reservations and the grace of God will help. Can I hear a good amen? Yeah. Okay, if your mother didn't teach you about sex and uh, your father didn't do that, in school, it was too shy to talk about it. Now, church is also not talking about it. Who is going to talk about it? And therefore, they get married and they are just lying down like a pole. Oh, God, help me. And one is what now? I said, you, Bubra. 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 This is the reason why we are here. We, let's open, let's peel the beans and <laughs> <laughs> Say a good amen. And I know I'm a shed rose, or Mrs. Sophia shed rose. More and more, baby, one and shed rose. Oh, shed rose, I'm sorry. Well, you are shed rose, I bet you now, sorry. What's the difference? There's no difference. Say a good amen. Oh, be an Indian, I may ask someone as who in you. Yeah, allow me to do that. And may I say that I may not be a man of God to everybody. 
The people that God has sent me to are here tonight and watching tonight. So, let's keep it like that. Say a good amen. amen. Alright, let me go further and then begin to... If this is the kind of singles, then why do we have so many single people who are not married? I mean, this is serious. If people are, the truth is that they are growing. Serious, they are growing. We have too many singles in a church. That oftentimes when you come to a church and you say, married people, lift your hands, there will be fewer. The single people will be more in a church. Therefore, what is the problem? Let's diagnose it and let's begin to work on what the problem is. We need to be able to discuss and get to the bottom and get a solution. It will help all of us. Say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. But let me read uh, the 8 verse, 7 or 8. And some fell among, no, 8 verse, verse number 8. The, ver, the Bible is making it very emphatically clear. He said, the other fell on good ground and brought forth fruit. Everybody say fruit. Fruit for the last time. Yeah. This is where every single person wants to come to. This morning on radio, I was talking about some of the, I'm talking about the top 16 mistakes single people make. And one of those mistakes is, you know, uh, lack of knowledge about marriage. We don't have, we'll be eh, kwa kwa ye, Help me on this thing. Obi kwa kwa nurse, they get trained. Obi kwa kwa doctor, they get trained. If, if somebody is going to be a police officer, they go for their training. If somebody is going to be uh, an army officer, there is a training for that. Why is it that when somebody is going to be married, there is no training? And marriage is for better or worse. If I feel like I can no more be a police officer, I just resign or, you know, drop the uniform and walk away. If I feel like I cannot be a preacher, I just walk away. If I feel I cannot be a soldier, I just resign. The point is this. Marriage does not give you that opportunity except on the instance of uh, adultery, on the instance of life-threatening situations like murder or any of these things, then you can walk away. Therefore, this thing is going to lock you to somebody for life. I have stood by coffins and caskets and women who are married take up their rings and put it in the coffin and say, from today I am free. Yeah, because when you are married to somebody, you are tied. Why do you think they said they are going to tie the knot? So can you imagine if you are tied to the wrong person? Recent findings of the causes of cancer is unhappiness. Unhappiness in women. I was reading unhappiness. People come to church and they are happy. They close and they are going to their homes and they are not. It, I'm going to talk to singles and then we can understand few things. One of the top, top mistakes that people do are, you know, uh, uh, unreasonable expectations. And as someone can walk around, you don't walk around, you are not that kind of person. And you know, and that is why we so pass mempe, we so pa mempe, we so pe mempe. We be a so pa on your class, on your size. And you open check because angels in your memory nipa. 
Hallelujah. Sometimes you have a picture, a mental picture of the man you want and you are looking for that man. But oftentimes that man may not come as your picture. You will have to make them. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. It, 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 let us go further. Tonight I'm talking to you about seven blessings every single person must be blessed with. Seven blessings for singles. If you have these seven things and you are still single, I will be shocked. Very, very shocked. If you have these seven blessings and you are still single, I will be sure. Number one, value. Value. I came with my golf clubs. Bring it to me, sir. And uh, Number one, value. Can I, can you get something very soft on the thing for me? Very, very, very low. Value. Esther, will you help me? I will want to do a bullet point, number one, number two, on the thing. Thank you very much, sir. Bless you. This is a golf driver. This is Dunlop, this set. I brought it when my father, Steve Mensah, introduced me to golf. We played golf with Pastor Matthew Ashimolo in London, Bishop um, um, Sapon in London. My friend, uh, Reverend Felix of Ozubuahe, we went to help these mighty men of God to play golf. After that, my father taught me how to play golf. Now, this is a driver or a one wood. This club is an ordinary club. But the moment I put this club in the hands of Tiger Woods, instantly, value has been added to it. It then is no more an ordinary club. If we want to auction this one. It may sell at one million dollars. Just this. Because Tiger Woods played with it. These things, they don't care about it. Because he is going to hell. You will be shocked when you find Tiger in heaven sitting at the front and he has enjoyed all the money in the world and still he made it to heaven. Atli unprofitable. As I see so, I said, Yesu nimfaso. So I'm realizing that many people now are even marrying people who are not Christians. I'm serious. Because tons I'm telling you, a Christophobe Brehunia Kono. Christophobe Brehunia Kono. And you feel you are holy. It's just that you are haphazard. We are sacred to. And your holiness. You'll be shocked that in your so called holiness, nobody will marry you. I'm telling you. 
Obiyan wa o pa de fun. Onya me sa na o ye no. Ade a eye fe it attracts. I'm telling you. Can I begin to go further? Can I have you into my back? Come on, let me do something very quick. a raw, a raw state. Raw state. Canvas and Pabua, Kambu. The cost and is selling for, let's say, 150 Ghana cities or 200 Ghana cities. Michael Jackson in the nine shimna of rock. Now you see a China instantly. It can be one million Ghana cities. The reason is because somebody put on that shoes. If Sakonye is here, at Bishop Duncan Williams, Betanaso, me Papa Steve Mensa, Betanaso, me Mami Christiana daughter, to Betanaso, uh, you know, Bishop Dag, Betanaso, Benny Hin, Betanaso, Idahosa, Betanaso, me Papa Kwesia Mwaku, Betanaso, and woman now, sorry, and I say, I want to auction this chair. Instantly, the value will go very high. The reason is because some valuable people sat on it. Say amen. Eh? There is a particular scripture I would like to read to you. Genesis chapter 29, verse number 17, down was to verse number 20. It is a story about uh, uh, Rachel. Jacob went to a place, wanted a wife. And uh, the Bible said Leah was tender eyed or tingled eye. The Bible said, and Rachel was beautiful. There are some women in the Bible that the Bible, you know, termed them as very beautiful. Like Rachel, like Esther, like Mary, like Rispa, like Abishag. They were beautiful women. Like Phoebe, like Lois, like Eunice. These were women that are very beautiful and very pretty in the Bible. Even the Bible acknowledges beauty. Yeah. Because God is not a haphazard God. God builds a city and the road, the streets of that city is pure gold. Crystal gold. In other words, the gold is like mirror. You can look at yourself and it's transparent gold. You see yourself in it. When I'm in your second to God is not haphazard and I realize that in recent time, you are seeing all manner of Christians and they believe that if you were expensive dresses you are going to hell if you wear nice things you are going to hell well i want to tell you a billion thing so we be your clue a billion thing so we be your let me tell you why everybody attracts their kind i attract mankind more and more hey you are mankind that is why you are here you will never attract anybody beyond your level. You will attract people on your level. Because you are attracting your level. There is something about you that is making other people's husbands do that. Most of you, by now, this year, 2020, you should be making a decision for 2021 that you will go back to school and add value to yourself. I'm talking about school, academic school. Yeah. Let me, let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. If Mama Rita, my daddy, does not understand where God is taking me and does not add value to herself on all areas, you will realize that at a point, there will be a huge vacuum between me and her. When the Lord called us, he, she realized that the level that the Lord was taking me, I have not been to Bible school formally, but I have a study in my house where the Bible school is. Therefore, quickly, she enrolled herself at Dominion University at Action and added value to herself. Because we will be two different personalities. You may be looking
looking for a husband, but that husband possibly might be on the next level. And if you are going to attract that husband, you will have to raise your game to that level. I'm telling you. And so I am going to debunk that kind of, you know, Christianity is looking poor and wretched and looking the status quo and Sakatu, Basa, Zuguma. Jare. I'm telling you. Everybody say value. You need it. Everybody here needs it. Value. Because your value has been stagnated for a long time. courses, and all that on a promotion promotion. If you are not adding value, we are corporal in police, corporal sign had the pension. Value! Wherever the bankers are upgrading themselves, you know, chartered accountants, they are upgrading themselves. Instantly, promotion comes. Value. I don't know how you see marriage, but I'm telling every single person that is in this place, marriage is not the only big thing in life. When you are single, you don't have to wait until somebody comes before you enjoy your life. You should be enjoying everyday life because God has blessed you as a complete human being. Oh yes, I wish I could explain that. Let me say this because I may not come to it again. I realize that we have a lot of young, vibrant, energetic, anointed young men and women in church who are anointed. But there are certain things that women need free. So. And is hygiene. Very important. Because if you are in a relationship with somebody now, they cannot tell you. Yeah. See, I'm telling you something real. We and come here, I decided I won't go there. I'm going in another direction. But let me mention it before I turn to the other direction. Yeah, Jare. Everybody here make it a point at least twice in a day with the kind of weather we find ourselves in in this city. Wouldn't you mean, can't you me say, Ubo Brazia, but three days, I won't see you. Yeah. And I keep telling the guys after Kalabala, 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 Chumotum, Chumotum. Deal with your armpit. That's why I'm telling you. The halitosis in your mouth emanating, originating from your mouth can even quench angels. When you bash my angels and gas and who as I say so for Sana Motia. Oh, but you. There's no two ways about that. As a man may cast a bell, one was said, Obi to and Chenya, BB two new and the cook. Saffron and all my master. They didn't come to church here. Now, why 
will you think that Jacob is going to serve seven years for a woman? Value. The Bible said that after seven years, he was deceived. And Leah was presented to him. He said, no, I don't want Leah. The father said, keep Leah. I will give you Rachel whom you love. But you need to serve another seven years. The Bible said, and those other seven years, verse 20, the Bible said, and those seven years were like few days in his eyes. Few days. Now, let me put it this way. He was not serving for beauty. He was serving for Ruby, Simon, Asher, Levi, Dan, Absalom. All these children, they came from Leah. But the one Joseph, sorry dear, and the one Benjamin came from Rachel. Only two children. Those children saved the whole world. Benjamin. It was interesting. This Benjamin Ninti and a Nepapa, a free baby, I will ever Egypt. And this Joseph was the ruler. So, the Peter can, can see very far away into the future. There is a Joseph in, in Rachel. There is a Benjamin in Rachel. Me worry Rachel, I will have Joseph who will become a ruler and save the whole world from starvation. It was not only for beauty. This tells me that marriage, listen, marriage is not just me dull, me pale, so me moke, no. These things, they don't last. Oh, I wish I can explain it to you. I, 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 I know many people have been married for many years and all that. We have been, myself and Didi, we've been married for 21 years. For 21 years, uh, 22 years, quite soon you see, 21 years of marriage. Every married person will tell you that you don't always, marriage is not always romantic. Because it comes to the point where marriage migrates to purpose. We are married for a purpose, not just mm, mm, mm. these ones, these ones, I know more about it. No, no, no. Sometimes I'm standing here and I'm blessing a marriage and the woman is standing here and I can see from the eyes of this guy when I say, now you may kiss the brass. <laughs> no, no, but, but after two rounds, after three rounds, at the end you, at the end you, what you and so? what you and so? We're single people, but we're single people. That's why I'm carrying it. Preaching Now, now I want to ask, what is your value? What is your value? Let me ask, I asked a question on radio this morning. I'm going to ask you also. To all the women that is in this place, to all the women that are watching us online, if we take away your breast, your engine, okay, your vagina, and your butts, 
and your hips and your body what again can you offer now let's talk the man who is going to marry you apart from sex food and few things that you, what again do you have to offer that is the value I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Now the men who want to marry, they want to marry beyond sex. What is it that you can offer? What is it that you can bring to the table? Marriage is like business. Business partners, somebody contributes money, other people contribute effort, other people contribute ideas. They all bring it together and the business runs. I am asking every woman, what do you have to offer? This is the very reason why you should be successful before marriage. So that the man will not be bluffing you. Oh God, help me. Oh, one son of Shimu, please. If you've got nothing to offer, I'm sorry. Please. This is the reason why they can say, pack your things and go to your mother's house. Because you have nothing to offer. There is no value. And that is why the men can tell, wouldn't you answer, if you hire, if you won't wouldn't you They talk to you anyhow. But, if they know that the sofa belongs to you, the curtains belong to you, the TV belongs to you, the fridge belongs to you, the kitchen belongs to you. When they are talking, they talk with a lot of decorum and a lot of respect. I don't know who I'm talking to right now. T.I. I'm talking to singles. Yeah. By now, what to us I say? Why your foundation? Who see what dying? Bema bia ube shia sa waba ano. Uhu nu se waba we owe ni swade kuno. Straight. Oni wo dealia or ye very very respectful. I'm telling you. Mami misa me manen so se apart from a topa. What what are you bringing to the table? Apart from smooching, apart from maybe two draws, maybe pony wire, what again do you have to offer? Mabu Amo, what did you end up? Amo, everybody is looking very beautiful. Women are looking extremely wonderful, beautiful. And uh, men are also looking elegant. You know, I met a couple of people who have joined this church. I, have, I met most, some of them at uh, Forest and Bible Cassia. And some of them, when I met them, I realized that they listened to the teachings a few times and then they started fixing themselves. And then suddenly I realized they were not as old women as I thought. Because when she had one by one, I said, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And all that. And I said, I don't know what to do. I don't know Then I realized that I don't know what to do. So I, 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 I taught them, fix yourself. Sunday I meet them and I go like, wow impressive how come you could believe in such deception when you may only disorganized though god is too organized that everything that comes into the space of god is organized 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 and then you when you are organized you attract organized people 
Look at how polished you are. Obi Teha draws or share three weeks. You see, you have a basket in him. You know, a man at the the boxer shows, or share three weeks. We year a buffer no one no so or say shanda. Holy Ghost. <laughs> Say amen. Number two. Versatility. Versatility. The word versatile means all round. See, see, at the job market or in the marketplace right now, they are looking for versatile employees they are not just looking for a secretary they are looking for all rounders the secretary must know how to drive the secretary is very good on the computer the secretary must be able to know how to you know have people skills to receive people and all that they are looking for one person who can do at least five things so they want to employ somebody but that person must be doing the job of five people. That is the kind of people they are looking for now. So I want to employ Pastor Steve in my company. And I am not only looking for somebody who can teach, but also somebody who can learn. Somebody that is adaptable and adoptable. Versatile. So you are not only going to be a wife, you are going to be a mother, you are going to be a leader, a manager, a leader of your home. You are going to manage the finances of that family. You are, you are going to be a career woman in the marketplace or the job market. You are also going to be a woman of God in church. You have a career, you have a ministry. You are an all-rounder. When you say, you know, the days of housewives are over. I'm telling you. Oh, I'm a separate of one. I want the days of housewives are gone. Now there is nothing like housewives. You must be good in the kitchen. You must be good with skills of talking. You must be good. Your casa, your senior. Minka kasa not as the language itself, but kasa as a skill. You must be a great communicator. You must be able to choose words for people to be able to understand that you are communicating. This is one of the reasons why there are so many, too much chaos in relationships and marriages. Because there is not effective, effective communication. What is that saying? You are not communicating. So the skill you will have to learn. I'm telling you, hey, will be one who will fit a funk one when they do. I see a lot of them on the internet. Beautiful, a funk one. Bit much when Maka Kwasi Yamu Kwasi Ya. We need to hear. Just a more a better training. They don't have it. We turn it through a pump. We may not have it on God. I'm telling you, there are so much, you know, going on in the world and you will want to position yourself in a place. Yeah? Let me say something to you. If marriage is an advantage or a blessing that has to come to you, then you need to market yourself well. I'm not talking about tongue, no. What I am saying is this. You must be a marketable product. Say, 
ye wo ma ten wa ha na be ma ba ko ba ha na o so opeyira it should be you say ye wo me ma ten wa ha na o ba ba ko wants to make a choice in prayer it should be you you should be in the place that if it comes to preference you should be preferred ye pe obi a yi nu a ese se ye o i'm telling you and so don't think that the time is elapsing because God is still working on you. You be on a be a so koko bone, koma bone, be a tea so no. Just say anyone who won't fen and co. Anyone who won't fen and co. Sister, I am a yim in when you saw. And so Bible is your motto. You must be all round. You are good. I'm serious. I am your pastor. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Make yourself available and learn. Everybody say learn. When you eat meat pie, when you first year, wine, wine, chicken, la paz, mulam, whatever, and all that, you know, and all that, pieces, whatever. You don't know who you are going to marry. Suddenly you are marrying Benihin's son or daughter. What do you do? Somebody say it is better to be prepared. And not have an opportunity than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. Versatile all round. You are all round. You are there. 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 You You are You are You You are there. All round. Yeah, Pilby, or you good in bed. You are there. Yes. And 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 somebody say, Are you was here and can you bed any? Are you good? I'm going to tell you. There are five kinds of knowledge. The first one is sense knowledge, if you answer. The second one is experiential knowledge. See who answer. The third one is academic or cognitive knowledge school nyansa the fourth one is revelation knowledge knowledge that comes from god and from above the fifth one yet the war your friend no inherent knowledge i was i was you know uh, watching children they were playing and go out. I'm standing there and watching the children on a park. Yes, I am more you be. And then I call up. I could have to pay because she have to. I am talking about children, toddlers, like four years, five years. I could go to I'm saying, hey, say. Which generation is this one? It would not move. Yet the war no. Yet the war no. Knowledge be or what? Me I be ni. Me baba kai be. It would not move. It's within them. It's inherent. It's part of you. Yeah. Above from baby, woman be baby. Or the tonnes of the best and noom. Knowledge in each then is a dear influence. I call with noom. I don't want to find you. The knowledge, a knowledge inside. A knowledge. Knowledge. You worry, did it? I have not known any woman 
Tell your boy, you mow. What did you make a jury? And you'll be on a back out, said Pigao, took one. And you'll be on a back out, said you. No, no, the fact that we are Christian, fine and general. We can teach them now. Teach them. Teach them this way. Teach them that way. Teach them this way. Teach them that way. Teach them! Ebi muti odi said yomu ni mnyeka bua wumu budo uyanu atamba bro abrade fa money chempo. Hallelujah. I'm going to wrap up. <laughs> Say amen. amen. Now, when I look carefully at the versatility, I am looking at somebody like David. If you look at 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 11 to 13, Bible can say, Mia, eh, mama, I say, now Samuel can say, I can't tell you, just he said, Umani neni, and there remained, he said, there remained yet the youngest one. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 11 going. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send and fetch him. For we will not sit down till he come hither. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was rowdy, with while of a beautiful countenance, and goodly to look on. And the Lord said, Arise and anoint him. Number one, he was rowdy. Rowdy now, yeah, cannot. It is a very, very powerful word. It, it was the same word that Solomon wrote in Song of Solomon, chapter five, verse number ten. Yeah, rowdy means glowing, shining. In the other versions, yeah. Look at this. My beloved is white and rowdy. The chiefest among ten thousand. Who describe it, my beloved. Let's go further, verse 11. Let's work. Let's read till possibly verse 16. His herd is, is as, the, as the most fine. Turn it into GNT. Let's look at a softer version of the Bible. GNT. His face is bronzed and smooth. His hair is heavy black as the raven. He goes in the next verse and said, uh, His eyes are as beautiful as doves by, by a flowing brook. Doves washed in milk. I want to dove while you're washing in milk. Nah. Doves washed in milk and standing by the stream. In verse number 13, the Bible said, And his cheeks are as lovely as a garden that is full of herbs and spices. His lips are like lilies, wet. With liquid mare. Even a man in Israel has a moisturized lips. Moisturized lips. A kunubia or the baby mission as you you have attracted your kind. You will have to curve a niche for yourself. You will have to raise a standard for yourself. I'm telling you. You cannot make a mistake as a single person to be moody. I'm serious. You will have to learn to be nice. Be nice. I wish you can understand this. You have to learn to be nice. Let me tell you, we are not teaching you things we don't do. You see me and church members, Sunday morning, I am going out. 
for the second service and I see church members who have come to church and they are waiting to come in for the second service. Hello, how are you? Hello, hi. Hi, sweet. Hello. Hey, what are the for? Yeah, selfie. You know how? You need to be nice. You need to be nice. You need to be nice. I see people at Forest and Bible. Hello, sweet. Hi, darling. Hi, baby. Hi, girl. Hi. Learn to be nice. I'm telling you. Obi Baka said, I have I have me woman. Nipa me nene nam dada. For all you know, he is not the one. I'm telling you. For all you know, he's not the one. Obi Koshia will be now the muna nebeko and you miss it. Be nice. Learn how to say hello. Everybody say hello. Thank you. Siaka. Yeah. Jen Kurasasem. Hey, black ham, black ham. Jen Kurasasem. Messi Jen Kurasasem. Jen. Let me ask you, Pastor Steve, you have been married to Mavis. Would you say Mavis? Huh? Mavis, you didn't say who? 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 Single person. Have you read in the First of all, we and sorry, in your way, and Cassemi Hurominema. We, a good idea, Miss Eddie. Would you wait and number area or who couldn't be a day? Everybody, oh, sorry, I'm not as a woman. She are not paid your day. This is you. You bath, you wash yourself, and you dress up. Even if you are not going anywhere. Casually, you are home, you are in your shorts, you are in your t shirt, you are in your skirt, you are in relaxed at home. Wake up all the time. Where's yes, your home? You never know. And they are coming after you. Obey Bano. Obi Honomoa. We will fear. Na uhunu na ube shocked. Especially without makeup, without a week, without a because obi uhonu mwa kon ro no awa bono e di beye five months. It will shiana wachen konfu ana komo oba. Yeah. Mama konfu. We should tell the people the truth so they can be married quickly and have their lives and enjoy life before the rapture takes place. Oh yeah, you can clap your hands. The Bible said in Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 32 can a beautiful bride forget his ornaments or can a bride does a young woman forget her jewelry or a bride her wedding dress absolutely no totally no now number three so first one is value second one is versatility number three beauty inside outside 
So I will say outward and inward beauty. Outward. Yeniabri, all that I'm saying is outward. But there are some things that has to come from inside. You must be beautiful, a young man beautiful from the outside. We are one modern boy, we are with Juma, we are San Juma. You have money and you are making money, you work, you are very industrious and all that. You are a Christian, you love the Lord, you worship God and all that. You are hygienically clean, you are excellent and all that. These things are all there. But inside, inside, you must be beautiful. There are two kinds of hearts. I will start with the ugly one first. Mark chapter 7 verse 21 is the first heart. I'm telling, I'm talking about married people. Look at this. From the inside, from the heart, come evil ideas which lead you into immoral things to rob, to kill. Next verse. It goes on and says to commit adultery, to be greedy and to do all sorts of evil things, deceit, indecency, jealousy, slander, pride and foolish, foolishness. Another heart is Philippians chapter 4 and verse number 8. That one is what we need to develop as single people. Look at this one. Philippians chapter 4 and verse number 8. In conclusion, my friends, fill your mind with those things which are good and that deserves praise. Things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, honorable. Not puno, not puno. tea and food is too fast. Baby Grammy can I know on a moment. Say man. Feel your heart. A born again believer. Turn it into King James. Whatsoever things are true. Whatsoever things are lovely. Whatsoever things are, are honest. Whatsoever things are just. Whatsoever things are pure. Whatsoever things are lovely. Whatsoever things are of a good report. And of virtue. If there be any praise. Think about these things. This is what must fill your heart. When you look at the songs that Pastor Prince was singing. You wake up in the morning and your earphones are worship. You cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we stand in here only because you are one. That, that, that atmosphere surrounding you, I'm telling you, that atmosphere. You never know. The lady singing the song just at the workplace and somebody heard your lovely voice. Oh, you've got a lovely voice. Thank you. In two four. In two four. Obi Oh, you've got a lovely voice. Who can win your bed? When and when you can. Every man wants respect. Let me tell you, women, what men likes briefly, and I will tell you what women like. Men wants respect. Whether you are older than them, they want respect. Whether you have a degree over them, they want respect. Whether you are richer than them, they want respect. Once you want to be a wife, you are ready to submit. Submission, simply, listen to what submission means. Submission simply means I am influential and powerful, but 
I have intentionally decided to bring it under yours. Intentionally. Bring it under yours. Oh yeah. Now, listen to this. Men, men want to be pampered. Yeah. Because there are three personalities in every man. There is a little boy who wants to play. There is a king in every man. And there is a beast or a madman in every man. It depends on the one you are addressing. It depends on the one you are addressing. My wife went home to sup him and came back to me. Immediately she came, uh, you know, my kiss was here. My pump because I was by my study and by my desk. And, you know, and my kids were, hi, baby. I said, yes, I'm here. Mwah. Yeah. It, 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 if I stand, performance in quality. Because my nerves and my hormones and my spirit. Everybody says smooth. Thank you. We are so for now and we get it to your one woman. you miss your quotations. Preaching, you will preach it. You will say it's about love, it's about football, it's about wrestling. It's a young to me who knows someone walking a diafra, a two album. I will tell you this because I say it at Love Talk all the time. Marry your friend. Only punning your friend, or don't say. Friendship or not, at least friendship will hold it. At least I need the hour, madam. For when it one and a few boom, watch you know, yeah. There are six kinds of love. The first one is God's love, God kind of love, the unconditional, the agapios. Number two, eros. Erotic love, love for marriage. Number three, filio or philia, friendship love. Number four, ludios. That kind of love is a love for subordinates or superiors. That is the love for soldiers. They go to battle and if somebody is hurt, we can draw you back. That kind of love. Then pragma, long-standing love. Me papa will see people and me mama will see people. That kind of love. Now you call presby. Me papa and tina me call presby. Me papa and go free me. So I call meter disa. Yes, mumpi will be mentioned at nine. That kind of love. It me na me call meter dis, but me jaya masore ko be call meter dis because of my father. And then the last one is philosia. Self-love. You have to love yourself. If you don't love yourself, nobody will love you. I'm telling you. You must look at yourself in the mirror and say, man, God did a good work on me. Ah. said, me do chufi. Now we flew here Put yourself together. I'm a pa. Fix yourself. In yaw home. Cassie a cassie be wa a trash. And then I didn't prepare for that. I would have shown you cassie be wa ye kukuru kwa brani frim paso. One of, uh, you know, uh, I live where I live, you no, know, there was an event. And I didn't know there was a television um, reality show for plus size people. Diasa. What does it mean? Ubulu for no and the final, they had it just opposite me. 
And then they were playing a lot of music. So I was asking my children, what, what is the music all about? And they said, it's a competition. Now we share plus size people who were dancing. At least they are plus size, but don't me Minka obolonwa je obi nebe kyun frim baso oba baya baya no fix yourself love yourself self love say amen let's wrap up now and then we go to the question time you know number four Everybody in this place will have to understand that before marriage, you must be relevant. So, number four, relevance. So, whoever is there, put it there. Number one for us, number one, value. Number two, versatility. Number three, inward and outward beauty. Number four, relevance. Lamentation chapter four it has been one of my favorite scriptures. Lamentation chapter four, verse two to four. Book of Lamentations, the fourth chapter. The second verse to the fourth verse. He said, Zion's young people were as precious as, was precious to us as gold. But now they are treated like common clay pots. Marriage must be received. You, we must receive God. Look at how beautiful a bride looks on her wedding day. And then they get married and they lose themselves. They forget about everything. Tell the photographer, Yimi Bako. Yeah. Yimi Bako. Photos from when you're ready, more you might patcher you may back. Okay, see that. Yeah, what do you have? Mommy, everybody's looking beautiful. Don't get married and then a feed your co baby and to money soon. Move, you know. I, I, I went to a place to preach. Draw so be sure, said your mommy be no brazy and Bobby see, but oh, I dear what Bobby said. No one soon said it drew baby. Yeah. And no one no immobile, but Ujan is our weight, you know, is it stretches by itself. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Love yourself. You are a child of God. Love yourself. Relevant. So, you know, value. Number two, versatility. Number three, outward and inward beauty. One of Makai, Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse 11. Very beautiful scripture. Look at this. For those of you who think that Christians don't have to do all this, this is God. This is God. God has a wife and this is how he treats his wife. I put jewels and bracelets and necklaces. I gave you a nose ring and earrings and a beautiful crown to wear verse number 13 you had ornaments of gold silver and you were always you always wore clothes of embroidered linen silk you ate bread made from yeast flour and had honey and olive oil to eat your beauty he never stopped saying beauty your beauty was dazzling you became a queen. God treats people like that. You are my queen. Everybody say queen. Yeah. <laughs> Number five, maturity. I realize that immaturity is causing too many singles 
Why not now in the casa? Why not send out text message? And your immaturity. We are too insecure. If your man will cheat, he will cheat. If your woman will cheat, he will cheat. I'm telling you, if she will cheat, she will cheat. You can't police people. Yeah. You can't police people. If they will do it, they will do it. Say amen. Maturity. Don't be petty. Don't be childish. Give people space. Somebody shall space. The fact that may your fiance and now fiance and angels are what told me. What told me saying? Saying the saying so. Who free him a banner? Why need be see you or no? It's childish. Give people space. Give people space. I lived in England for almost four years. My wife never asked me. Go to. And you be a one she so land the one. No. Space. Give people space. Because before you even say yes to a proposal, you trust the person. And uh, yeah. If you don't trust the person, why are you in that relationship? Was it prof you wouldn't me? About the mini pay would not throw and so you would nip up. And so you will nip up. Udin trouble do you will nip up. What year to me say where you will nip a dear? More than a car, some in the bread in the war, some more heal, some more heal. I don't know. If you're more as I see as you, I don't know. Before somebody say I will marry you and you say yes, there are seven things that must be in place trust, transparency. Respect. Sharing. We have to be able to share information and everything. These things, they govern that, you know, union. It is as only a way now we don't deal with it. And one is said. Number five, support. You are going to be with this person for the rest of your life. Say, see, I'm in the day one year, 22 years. You have got 22 years. I can't believe that. I can still remember the wedding day. It was just like yesterday. Say, see, 22 years. And we have a lot more years to go. Oh, it, it reminds me. I was reading of a, an article. And the article was about Akukobema. Akuko nini. Enna yedene to. Ema bebre entem. And then Omo realized. Oh fruwe nwa fruwe. Oh fruwe nwa fruwe. Oh fruwe nwa fruwe. Oh fruwe. We didn't one day nwa fru. Ma be 18. Enna omo yi no. No omo dene kwa to. Ibuwa. Oba haba hako pena. Oh fru ba haku mienu miyansa na inu jaye. Next day omo ho anfro. Next day omo ho anfro. Naturally, so we'll pay hit and run. I feel tired. I'm a bit casual. Obedi yawa, you are going to put it in your mind that I am going to be that one woman who will be like many women. One, but thousand. We are Christian, you can't hit here, hit here, hit here. In toward the woman, no, you must prepare yourself as a single woman. Say, O Penesia, a bear say, a bass and swap me woho, a bar and swap me woho, a bar and swap me woho, a chia, mid bishia, or the boom mid bitra. Oh, me yemens, as I'm what you imagine, dear. Hey, I dream a year, Juman Tentem say. We are done. Twenty-four nineteen. Many workers say a B a Gubia bar club. Any Bia, you are learning something. That thing is that if you marry, should you marry, you will not just be a novice, but a, a very 
well informed, well prepared, well organized woman or man ready to face marriage with purpose. Yeah. It brings me to the next thing, vision. We don't just marry beauty and excellence. We marry vision. Didn't right now you cannot, I mean, you cannot tell me it's kiss me, kiss me only. Now it's purpose. It's vision. I want to marry a man of vision, a woman of vision. Because after after that, we will pay light bill. Oh, electricity for now, let me say this. Most of you have been through many relationships and now you are believing God for some. Some are in relationships, others are not. Ask God to grant you a woman of vision. A man of vision. A woman that compliments you. A man that compliments you. Do you know that there are women and men who are insecure about their wives and husbands? Oh yeah. Pastors. The woman also oh my mean preachy. Also my mean preachy be other young one be preachy. That kind of thing. And maybe the woman is doing well. I tell the day all the time. If you are the billionaire in this country, it would have been Kamedidi. And once me just the day here crusade with Nigeria, me here one million. Tito Mat County, why? Me boa one year this is come. Serious. Me boa one year this is come. Same thing. Say sister, you are too much and come me boa one year here. I'm telling you. I will add value to her. So, who for full choba? Oh, who for na me jiska? Let me check it. Me boam. Obiya, choba ngam balance jiska no. Yeah, ukrumpe te du na mo. Yeah, and just and just about and so forth. You know, I'm here for you. Say a good amen. Vision. There must be a purpose. Because if we make babies, four, five babies, now to take one person to school is money. A lot of it. Can you imagine if you have three children and they are all going to university at the same time? I'm telling you. We were level 300, we were level 200, we were level 100. Oh, you will feel it. You will feel it. Or matre or four, you will feel it. Ticket, you will feel it. In the young by heart, more and more, you know, many, many single people are too loose. Obi one one yam, and then I'm here. Then I win yam. I didn't say we don't have to go. And then I'm yam, huh? And 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 you know these guys can boldly say, "I don't want my own car, my yam." What kind of nonsense is that? Obi to make us a condom, mempe condom, and fail a condom. Ah, say we use a condom. Hey, Oba Forest and Bible, because yes, and use a condom. Because here that communion, Oba say use a condom. What be the communion? We would as we use a condom. Let me t- let me tell. You. Let me tell you, sex before marriage is a sin. 
cohabitation. Cohabitation, Jesus said, would tebe ma de monye unwa de is a sin. We call it fornication. Babro, you know, friend, a jamai. Everybody say a jamai. You want to say that a jamai, a jamai, a jamai, a jamai, a jamai. Obi oho awo ye ne chine so ye a jamai. Who can be true? Say amen. amen. Last thing I want to talk to you about, and then we go to the questions, is love. This generation don't have real love. It's not there. This is one of the reasons why there are no real marriages. Hey. Real love, it can never leave you. Real love can never divorce you. Real love will fight on and hold on until it works. We know who real love yet. Real love will take all the nonsense until the dust settles. Our marriage was, you know, didn't become this instantly. It's been a process. It's been a journey. We also been through all the nasty periods and all that. We can win, we can win, and all that. And then after three years, everything begins to settle. By ten years, you must know yourselves very well. And then you realize that you are falling in love again. You are in marriage, but you are falling in love again. Real love. Men who say, "Oh, don't know about sorry, Musa," you say, "You know, you know, car men who treat me say this, hey, bra, hi, bra, car, car, what do no no?" And so let's say that the lady knows how to drive, so no problem. You can walk away, man. No, use the car, all right? No two, no team, and all that kind of thing. And also, I know, ukoba, that's what we so so no fumua. When the men can say you answer. What talk? What show a dream? Because who them say? The case is jaya. Or she na ka an mi nyam fang kobe bi am dekon. Sometimes it's not a car. He gives you money, and that is one of the reasons why the Lord asked me to bring you here to tell all the young ladies you need to be financially independent. Get a job. Get a job. Get a job. The days of a man feeding you should be over. As a single woman, you must be making money. You must be making money. This thing, I don't say to, you know, let me say this to, do you know you can learn from a fool? Proverbs 6, 6. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6. Proverbs 6, 6. Let's close with that. Lazy people should learn a lesson from the way ants live. That means that we can even learn from an ant. Okay, then you can learn from a fool. We can learn something from Muslims. A Muslim will never marry a Christian. But the Christians are already in love with them. Shocking. Which Muslim no address it in a while. Now he Christian, if he be our non citizen, who true moon go you. Let me tell you when we talk about holiness, it's not bondage, it's decency. You are decent, decent. Precious things are hidden. And near my neighbor, what then he did to say we look for, to say we hear more, it is here. Pen nice draws now they are cut us. Yeah, yeah. What tenacity? The beer me chill said the tenacity. Sit down like this all the time, whether you are even wearing trousers or knicker. Or long dress. 
sit down like this. Yemaninka. Utanasia no akanabo. Kutu ye ye kambo. Be bisha wo nintem. Ne boy ye day. Awamatiye be. Is there. Tokuro fiye be waha. It's here. Turn and sit like this. Don't sit like this. Don't sit like this. A dear way, a precious. Yeah, yeah, no, I can't go home. We come now to soar. And the scared is that. Scared to no be one who say, I have no. A kind of home. Until no, you don't. Just to pay your own. Now, yeah. Be one who sit down. I say, I'm going home. Adi ame chire bebre ma ame no man kan chira oda. Many people were not told that after sex you will need a tissue to wipe off semen, so it should be there. Ana na ibi mo yame ni mizan. I'm teaching you. Learn how to sit. Unufu, unufu, Bobby said, No, baby, a shenno. What shout out yet? He said, Yes, me, what to bottom is in a nicely. But the moment here, we'll be dry her, I'm a happy, a dramae, I dream about it. Everybody say, A dramae, can you be oh, yeah, you were dramae, tardy, you were dramae, tardy. Scared to be with her, was shy. What to me was an engine, no? Why expose you? No, a man be bringing shot draws. One cry, ah, who she need be your baby of free America. You to need petty petty by reaching a yeah. Obama need in a catch a bachelor, 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 draws clunky. I'm telling you. Yeah, Omo ye ye ga kwe of your bed tam chichingari ye na. Jina wa wo chuje piche na. Man said us. She has said yet na se. Unufu ne bo odene. Don't stand on like ye ye na de ye unufu e ye asraso. No. Somebody say I am a child of God. You are a child of God. Kataso. Se me mwari ye na se me pe yira. Ama na be yeso fu ma amia. Ujwe ni sen ka me pe ubisa. I don't think so. I don't think so. Look for somebody who has the love of God. Utiyan okura ni bumfu. You rebuke that person. They are not going to be angry because you did it in love. Yeah. Number two. If you have love, you are ready to learn. Sister, what are you now? Who go? Obi wano mo kura. I sorry. Na chene se. What are you? Enye ye inti ma men fan to men yo suwe di eman fan to men ye di. Nani bufu? No, no, no. Oni pano ni Christo mudo. Oni ajwe in sachira. What the agenda for from the bar? It in tomorrow we are back at that. No, we are the end, the end, Now why not ask me? Why not ask me? You are in tomorrow back at home. You don't do that. You don't do that. Me me down no pay be a young pay boy. I don't know the me and me we no say where the. It is fiji pa. Who are it? Now we are bad. You will be shocked that other women will be flirting and seducing your husband in your presence. If your husband is a loose man. Because whatever you allow, you cannot complain. Once you allow it, Yeah. We used to have a man in this church 
there was a man who used to attend this church and I realized that he was married but he was attracted to young girls and what he will do no, he will do you favors black or brown or white you want bed now here? I saw me here. They said you might not. So no problem. Take this and uh, buy some clothes for yourself and bags. Who be kwaku himo no na fifty million. So that in bacho na misi me dawasi but who name me number and take the bacho give me number. And then uwa uwa nuwa send a picture. No, they are two phones, so no, they are I said, who's the crowd here, bro? When you are 50, dada. <laughs> now you don't know whether to. And so in prayer, we rebuked him. Not spiritualism. If you don't repent, you are going to hell. We rebuked him. Rebuked him, and then he stopped church. But before he did that, his wife knew this. That any hankwa, a dream, he takes it there. Our problem, ye yan wa forest and Bible case here. Na ye break it. But if you are caught up in a situation like that, what will you choose between between your feet, your salvation, or between this man? Many young girls are here who've been a high in Now you are caught in between. Covid row preachy, a question in Zing Wunono. Everything, you know, at Tupabi Uber Code Bonsemium, at Tupabi Beku, at Tupabi Beku, at Tupabi Go, at Tupabi Kuanka, at Tupabi Akunana. Continue at Tupacuno. Or therefore, or therefore, three ideas so on and a comate. To Pammy Aguno, as one became last week, as a this week, you cry. This week, this week, or therefore, come on, take. It's your mouska, and you know, or therefore, girl, not in the co hotel, no young girl. 25, 24, or therefore, you are saying, and I went through this sister, what by Adam? Who saw the Anna Pa? Now they met this My God, to thee, my God, to thee. Now, when you say, Oh, Ben, don't be carried away by your needs. There are these sugar daddies who can buy your soul. There are allergies in town. They can buy you a house. They can buy you a car. But they will use your soul as sacrifice. I'm serious. So I brought you here as single people that the Holy Spirit will impact us. Close your eyes. Let's pray. Father, if we have value and if we have versatility and if we have inward and outward beauty, if we are relevant in Christ and to the world, if we have maturity, if we have vision or we are vision oriented singles and if we have love, genuine, genuine love, there is no way we can be single for the next 12 months. When our prayers are pushing us to your favor, I pray for every single person right now. Let your blessing overshadow them. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. Somebody clapping? Somebody clapping? Somebody clapping? Praise the name of the Lord. Say a good amen. 
All right, now I am going to uh, shoot three microphones very quickly. And then we are Facebook uh, and YouTube. We are going to take your questions, uh, going to come, uh, put it on the page, on the timeline or the time feed. Um, we will take five questions from Facebook and then we are going to take 10 questions in here and then we will close. Amen. Amen. Praise God. All right. I, let me have another microphone over there um, and then we can also have one close to the terrace. Um, that's how it's going to be and then we can wrap up nicely. Tonight I, I am speaking to singles and the needs of singles and I'm trusting God for every single person that 12 months from now in the name of the Lord Jesus with value with versatility with inward and outward beauty what is the fourth one yeah relevance with maturity one place that we need to really up our game is maturity that is where polishing is, refinement. That is where training, you know how to talk, how to behave, how to behave yourself, how to, you know, go in and come in and all that kind of thing without any bad motives and any evil motives and strings attached. You are a woman and a man of vision. And lastly, you have genuine love. There is no way you cannot be married. You become a marriable material. Say amen. My first question, and the name is. Madam Pacho, good evening. Your friend will say. Pacho, me de Stella. Stella, talk to me. That in Pacho, me pese me bisa se. Ben me bi oha o shiawa. O bisa o se me pel. Before o beka se me pel. O bisa o se uni o bi oha na. O beka se debi. O bisa o se o o o last relationship ono. O ne huai e yedinti na. Muniho. But who nipana was she all no baby saw or back on some much show, semi pro, be a person, yes, and person, yes, and you only a German or no, not so no bisa. If person in business, I didn't in Iana or movies, sir. Okay. <laughs> that, that's a good question. Now, let, let me, this is where I, I keep saying relationships are falling apart because there is a lack of effect communication everybody say effective communication especially especially in emergence of social media the man is on the phone the woman is on the phone we cast our dignity in ages so mm, 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 that kind of thing yeah when baby same thing direct the same questions to him yeah this, we are having a conversation, and I direct the same questions. Now, once we are, we will be here. Then I send the conversation. Don't let the conversation be one way. Don't let you know this person be interrogating you. Let's have a conversation. Oni pe bi uho no mo a obe ye uho e juma. E ye mi ngwa kwa se wa mfa no amba. Because there are certain people who share our person with that. This is the generation of you. Who share. The moment they meet you, they want to have sex with you. Strange. Hey, So, whatever will be said, then the corner is going to be said. Let's have a conversation. And that is effective communication. The Lord bless you. Are you fine? Give the microphone to her. Maybe I haven't answered her question well. Yeah. ready for a relationship. And let me tell you something. Bejimi Breno, a trip. 
you are not doing a man a favor by accepting their proposal. It, it is, it is, you receive as I give and I give as you receive. It's a relationship. It's not like, yes, I'm master. No. It's a relationship. One we as a relationship we they make the woman a slave. And marriage is not slavery. Just like holiness is not slavery. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. All right, sir. Good evening to you. Good evening, sir. Damini, Eric. Now, it's one question. Okay, sir. I see a baby or home. I a mistake. I want to tell you how to. But the Bible is not a I say, well, my two five thirty two say, Say, yeah, your mind will be, say, yeah, your mind, intimate, will be, will be, Jan, Elia, one more banana, say, our land, or while, boy, I do be a Jan's row, Sa or Banos, one more banana, say, our land, Sa Bano, Alabasta, I'm Sumabishano, Alabasta, or two, meet me one and ask me to me one. Well, wouldn't you near, or yeah, yeah, the wood too? Minimum be our five, on my red. Say, we know why mistake or what Eric <laughs> So why mistake on the scriptures now we know my my two thirty you know okay a mistake from Jesus and as it and wow too wow too and also why single on your speech why a single also a single eh what know if you open that this is the Bible was telling me Eric. Say, I am a woman. I'm single. I have two children. There are many women here who are singles, but they have children. Me, I am a fair Christo. Me, I am a past. Obi, I am a past. Obi, I am a past. And then I worry, you know. I am born again. And the woman who said, Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, bonnie. When you're meeting the bonnie, you're a channel. Well, better near body of a fro. Send me Panama Alabasta. And what is she, Eric? Eric and Nijino. Or your body of a fro. And your mother, they're true. And your men, I have a fro. Put Second Corinthians chapter 5, the 17 verse. You love him, him. He loves. She loves you. Give, give, give her. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. 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 And I was a wadi a jai. And I waba alabasta. And I waba be huno. Then you call the hunger, did you? Well, I will be a sermon at that. Well, we'll sell a wadi a jai, say a jai. Jan a man in penny baby to the nabon so pale baby to the. What do you say? Yeah. Because tea, yes, we are cut. Tell the all kinds is here free from the book of Matthew, you know. Say Obi Ware. Na Ujaya Ware. Na se Obi Ware ni ye jano no. Ah. Die we jawa de ko ware na boy jamai. Die wa ware ni sa boy jamai. A ye scriptural, as you have said. There is no argument about that. Say ni pano, you know their situation. There, and in fact, there are certain people who cry. To be a woman, they have gone through too much pain that they don't need anymore. 
seriously. Somebody came to marry one of one of our daughters here, and been through different relationships, painful past. I told the young man, this young lady has been through too much pain. Oh now we are hit and run for Nibia. This girl can't take any more pain. All right. But our dear two times divorce. Not Wasayaba. Eric and Jane. No. Jano and Mamahanaja. Amen. The Lord bless you. We're going by Bible. So let's talk. Hi, sweet. Um, and the name is Jessica. Jessie, talk to me. Down for two percent besides say a bar versatility. Ebia, Uyo ba, Mawari, na a banner sex. Say the bia, the way I would can say a bar sa level na I was a ban and a star bia, the banner, or so you ready. Oh, yes. Yes. And I person besides say, say, in case say, Obani Philippine, so on to me, Kutu. Now, I did a win to me the other now, Koye. Who could move CC? I could see. I could see. I Philippine war, Nayasia, may patch a cell. So, I said, on to me, yeah, be a better. Yes, I will be a man of Oh, dear. Hey, my second question is, say, a bus our quality say our boss will be a seventy percent to make us say me was a idea be all but grandfather Michelle Mono they were a woman who me pen now must roam me because almost see we are caller yes sir ukasa to say a caller yes sir we are on your mat to say a penny but Miss Mayor Sandy me it like a dear woman me me person me. Taking, uh, I know, I mean, uh, she looks smallish, uh, and people want to bully, bully her because of her size. But we will also, or you're very mature from here, and so they speak by maturity. Then they are not your kind. And I'm tell you what she needs to say. So, can I say, oh, ba, oh, mu, she, oh, mu, pe, dross, she, no. Me me for us to say, and you know, if you are why I was now so one share and there were into now. I say, Oh, my Tommy Shat, I've been as a woman, I tell Mutu, I took over you. Jessica, you are a very interesting lady. See, see, who ye. The word akitesia comes from the word kata unhusie. See, see, unye. Atabiebi owa e transparent. Ye wo tunic. A long tunic. Ye she ansani ya sha atabiebi. Put it on. Uto lisa. Ye wo di edi lainim. Ansana wa she de. Some of the ladies in Christ, ye be pam ne sa. But wo be she adiebi wa. You know, ye de lainim ono nicely. Ansana wa she lisa. See, see, who here? Somebody may be observing, and they may be interested in you, and they are observing from a distance. The Lord bless you. Yes, sir. Hello. Right. Um, thank you so much for the beautiful teaching. My name is Daniel. Hi, Danny. Yeah. So, um, my question is two. Okay. The first one is um, how long do you think that? Um, individuals had to court before getting married. And the second one is, you've talked about seven blessings that individuals should have before they get married. Uh, my take on it is that I don't think that you can have those things fully completed before you migrate into marriage. Sure. So I think um, there are things that can be learned even after marriage. So, do you say that we should get all those things completed before we get married, or you have something else to say on that? All right. Thank you. Let me answer the second one first. Learning is infinite. You never stop learning. The day you stop learning, you start dying. And so, you will always learn. Most of the things that we teach in marriage or in marriage counseling, the couple may not meet it. 
Oh, Aria, you can say, Oh, Aria, you can say, they may not meet it. Because every marriage is unique. It may come in a different way. And so, you never stop learning. Some of the things you may not possess, some of the blessings I talked about, you may not possess it before marriage. But you will possess it after marriage. It will be a process you go through. Yeah. The period of courtship, eight to ten months minimum, 16 months maximum, you should be married. The reason is because if courtship goes beyond 18 months, the temptation gets greater. Feelings, the hormones rises with all these crazy feelings. Every young man in this place wakes up every morning with an erection. Your penis comes up. Sometimes you are praying and this thing is strong in your trousers. As my partner make a chill, Lia da Bakuna Kazi. Ubi on Ukradia, media chill, we, we, ye ketua. A mamu, una manio. Oh, but then yes, who's true. Any particular to me, any particular free home back. The thing has an elastic. Now, on a serious note, if you are courting with somebody, start on the note we want to be married. Many did it. We, we courted for weeks. Weeks. Proposal to acceptance, two weeks. Acceptance to engagement, two weeks. Engagement to marriage, wedding day, two weeks. So from proposal to wedding, six weeks, we were married. Now, we married with faith that the Lord led us and that it will work. Even if we face challenges, the Lord will help us. And for 22 years almost, the Lord is helping us. I think that this woman is just amazing. And so, eight months to a year minimum, a year and a half maximum, you should be married. So that all these temptations will not be there. Number two, many relationships go through familiarity. And when the familiarity comes in, the respect goes down. So quickly get married. By the time the familiarity comes in, you are already married. And then the Lord will help you as you sort it out. Amen. All right. Bless you. Hi, sweet. Give her power for me. And your name is? Please, I'm Priscilla. Hi, Priscilla. Talk Please, to me. I wanted to ask that. Um, I'm going back to my sister's question. Okay. Um, she was saying, like, if, if, if you are with someone and the person wanted to know your past, I wanted to ask, is it necessary for you to tell your past to someone? All right. All right. There are there are certain aspects of your past that you cannot avoid or hide. For example, you have a child. You can't hide your child. You should be proud of your child. Your child is part of you. If the person will marry you and your child, praise God. If they don't want a child, then they don't want you. Such a past, you should tell. But there are some past, it is not even necessary to discover it. Everybody has a nasty past. Before we became born again, I have done nasty things. Ubi Sama Sewa Abeka, they will tell you. Yeah. You know, so when people, you know, are talking, go, go feel drunk. No, no, no. If there was something that was a nasty pass for me, it was violence. You know, violence that police could not mutate. All right? So, 
my past like that, you know, the day will have to hear some of them from my friends. And some of them she will never know. Because some of it she can't take it. True to be what be there can be the actual. Who can we hear no one? Now there are certain truths that are not even necessary for you to bring up. Okay? Past the bit said you have a child. Let them know. You know, um, sometimes you have a history health wise. You are asthmatic, you are sickle cell. You are HIV positive. Let them know. Let them know that that those ones you can avoid because those ones it will it will be reviewed. You can't hide it. Certain truths you can't hide it. For example, you have you've had breast cancer before, but you are a survivor. Tell them. There are certain things that resurfaces. There are certain things that has a history. It may come up like you have HIV. Let them know. They are coming to sleep with you. You are going to infect them with HIV. I know a young man like that who is in this church. Fine gentleman. The lady is HIV positive didn't disclose they started their counseling and they fell into fornication the guy slept with this guy whilst they were preparing to you know get married in the ladies church now this guy is HIV positive now he doesn't want to marry the lady what's the point this truth should have been discovered, especially when they were going through counseling. So, there are certain things you can discover. There are certain things you must conceal because any necessary to even bring it out. You know, what does that mean? Actually, saying, saying, yeah. There are many singles here. Born again, I cover. Born again, I cover. Yeah. So, Prissy, yeah, God bless you. Good evening, Daddy. Hey, man of God. Thanks. How are you? I'm blessed. The name again? Emmanuel. You might talk to me. Okay, Daddy, uh, how are you going to address the public about this family planning that is going on? And the second question is that, assuming that uh, you've met a lady and the lady is coming from a church who doesn't believe in this family planning system and you too, you're coming from a church who believes in those things. And uh, how are you going to, you know, cope up with such a lady? Because in church, and people will call out, or they be say, I family plan, I have one, or be say, they have one, see, you're buying it then. Because we'll be a while, or you will buy a seven. Those things. Hallelujah. <laughs> Genesis chapter 8. Let's go to chapter 38, rather. Genesis chapter 38. Hallelujah. I know where this um, family planning thing is emanating from. It is about an Old Testament story of a man who had seven sons. And then, according to Jewish law, According to Jewish custom, if a man dies and he doesn't have children, his brother will have to marry the late wife, the, the person that is dead's wife, the widow, 
to raise up children for the dead man so that the name of the dead person will not be extinct. This guy married and then didn't have children and then this son, second son married. Can I have seven young men? It's just an example. One lady, Dorinda. So let's say that this gentleman is married to this lady and couldn't have children with her and then go sit down. He is no more, this person marries her. Couldn't have children. Couldn't have children. Now, the whole idea is to have children for the first because in the time that the first one, second one was having intercourse, the whole idea was that have children for your late brother so that his name will be raised. When the semen is coming out, he will pull it out and spill it to the ground. Now, God killed that young man not because he couldn't make children for, but because of the motive, the intention. Now, we quote that scripture and say that you cannot have children you, you, sh you cannot plan your life by using contraceptives and this is a big injury serious injury and you see these people they have like 12 children 10 children suffer or will bear 10 children I already told you that raising one child is a big issue. So, I am going to tell you this way. When you come to counseling, family planning is part of counseling. In T, now your question. Okwa, sorry, Bia, Omu Bili, we say, yenye family planning ni. Se de de ya me yira, mi di sini Bia, e waso onyem. Mi di sini Bia, e waso onyem. Na fe de de, it won't no Do you know what it means to give birth to one child? Some women die giving birth to children. Some women bleed, bleed, bleeding. And you quote two scripture near Chiano. Near the Ayat doctrine. Near the echo. Let me tell you something. If you don't plan your life, baby, we are saying, life will be difficult for you. And the Lord asked me to bring you all together so that we can be able to be wise. My people are destroyed. My people. Not the people of that. My people, they are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Amen. The Lord bless you. Your second question was, it's, it's answered. The Lord bless you. Amen. It, did it, um, by now, Nanka, we are having 14 children. All right, let's close with your last two. Please, good evening. Good evening, sweet. What's uh, your name? Presley. Presley. Hey, how come I have another Presley? Talk to me. <laughs> your word, you say that uh, we should marry our friend. Yeah. And my question is, is it because my friend knows everything about me? That is why you said we can marry our friend or and secondly, if maybe I'm with, my, my, I'm with a friend and he proposed to me it's like, oh, that be me know we are friends, but I mean to me I accept so. 
Like, I will feel shy. <laughs> so I can't accept him. <laughs> Praise <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, let, let me answer Priscilla's question quickly. What I mean by marry your friend is you flow so well. You have a vibe. You have a connection. You are connected. soul mate. Okase, you were meant to be together. That is the right person. You must marry. And yani obe feel shy no. Ohe na o shy di no ah mon connected. No. Amen. All right. Thank you. Last one. Yeah, Daddy. Uh, my name is David. Hi, David. Yeah, fine. Please, my question is: uh, Do you support long distance relationship? If you the support, the person is in America. You are here, or uh, maybe uh, you are here. The person is at North. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe. Anyway, so what's up now? Okay. <laughs> Um, the thing is that what is stopping you from getting married? Maybe you are not yet ready for the marriage. What, what do you need to be ready? You don't need much to be married. Okay, let's, let's do a very quick calculation and then we'll close. And to my friends here, high target, how much is one? 60? 60 by 6. 360. All right. You know a few things like draws bear a pack. A pack of draws. 50 Ghana, 25 Ghana. Rings. You know about 15. 3 in India, 45. You know about 50. You know about 100. I can tell 450. All put together. What's that? Okay. All right. But but you don't need much to be married. enough. Listen, go and take your parents to the lady's parents. And tell them that we can't pay. No, listen, listen. That is why church is part of your life. Get your church involved. There are certain things that pastors talk. I have negotiated many times. There was one of our members is at Alabaster City. Okowari or baby were there so. Listen, the man was so expensive. I negotiated a reduction. They are married. Yeah. If you papa and mom say, be man 100, you be man 20. Facebook. All right. Talk to me. Uh, papa, please, I'm Enoch. Hi, Enoch. Um, papa, please, there is something that is going on in this particular generation. And then, um, 90% of young men and then young women in this generation said they be a taikan or in the oh, but over community be before for okay. Forbidden fruit in what theory and I was saying, would you not for my come The question they say because when you read uh, first Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, uh, Bible no born you may be sure, oh, yeah, you will not like. He inherits the kingdom of God. Okay. And the first one is fornication. Yep. And then when you open uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 3, also talks about the same thing. And the first one is fornication. The question is, Omaya said, Beman and I are so well, but Omaya said, Biblically, are they supposed to set apart or they should continue and marry? All right. So now they have committed fornication. And they want to marry? Should they go ahead and marry? Is that a question? Now, 
Many, 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 many relationships that comes to the altar. A jujum. I'm Many, 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 many. I'm a jujum. Sometimes I wonder why we are wearing a white garment. I think that we should be wearing a black garment or a brown garment or a, a wine garment because you jujum. Now, let me answer your question. I think that God can forgive you and bless your marriage. The only thing is that if you can do that to me, then you can do that to somebody else. But God can forgive you and he can bless your marriage, give you a new start. That is the essence of grace. The grace of God can give you a new start. Amen. Facebook, five questions. Talk to me. Okay. Thank you, Daddy. Yeah. The first question. Uh, does God reveal uh, the person that you are supposed to marry? Will God reveal the person to you? That's the first question. Say it again. Will God reveal the person that you give are supposed to marry? Give them power for me. Yeah. Will God reveal Will God reveal or can does, God does God reveal like um Oyicho say oh this person is your husband this person is your oh, wife Oh yeah if you pray about it God will give you a prayerful answer yes Number 2 Okay so they are in a relationship and they just uh, towards married and they just realize that they both have sickle cell what wow. do they do? They are in a relationship. And they have uh, started the processes towards marriage. This marriage is not advisable because it's going to be a very painful future. And so we don't advise that. We do not encourage that at all. Because when you see these sickle cell patients in hospital, blood transfusion, finally dead prematurely is too painful and so we don't encourage it at all but i know that somebody will say well we are christians and so why don't we believe god for a miracle and this is why i quoted the scripture i started with my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge next question that's education. You wanted to ask something from this question, or you have your own question. Okay, next one. Let's that, finish up with you. Does education level matter in marriage? It does. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? We have to be in agreement. Did they am in level? They fail in me, Yadano. carpet so from. You know, yes, good rules, yes, you see me, and I'm saying you didn't tell me. Was worried, I'm, you know, I I'm saying you, you know. I mean, it's our level. Me pe will be a meeting, me a warren, and a Jimmy, you know. You know what I mean? Not this person who too straight. I don't know whether I should say it. How will he? No, no, no. That's not our relationship. You know, me. You can. We can drive home right now, and be in the car for one hour, and we are home. A engine is on, and we are talking for one hour. Yempese enkomoni switcha. The four steps that are be 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 boom. So we are in the car one hour. Education matters. Let's say that I am above her level. I say me obey kaji me correct no. Ibedru be be ya ya den ya den 
be beer, be beer with it. That is how it will be. It matters. Marry your class. You will be fine. We are full money, marry a full money. We are. I realize that, mommy police, do you realize that police for worry police for power? I don't know whether it was during training, uh, school time, or meaning police will be there. Nikuni police, Nyi police. Many, I know a lot. Maybe I had to was happy man. Police will be mapa your school. Never was happy man. And omu mi enu na ye police for. Ye wa police for ma wa ha. Nikuni ye police, Nyi ye police. Omo te omo wase. We and then you were patrols were how we so men so me were charge office. Nurse for to me were doctors, doctors to me were doctors, and they are almost two of them one say so for to me were so for me name so for be a woman or baby or pet girl be so and so for her or pen or person or one. I'm a two of them say because. Let me tell you, if your husband cannot allow you to shine as a woman, I know so many gospel musicians whose husbands cannot allow them. Because Oh, no, no, no. Well, marry your class. You'll be fine. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. The last one. It doesn't mean that you come at you. It doesn't mean that you can't marry somebody who is not your class. If the person understands you, they love you, you 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 flow, you there is a connect more you're fine. You are okay. But to make things easy for you, Marenia wouldn't agree. Agree. Amen. All right. Talk to me. Last but one. The last one. Last one. All right. Okay. So he said, is it good to talk about your past with your... I think Prince's question, I answered it. Yeah. Sweetie, let me take you as my last question. Take Debbie. My name is Deborah. Talk to me. Deborah Dumako. All right. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Do you have to answer that question? Okay. <laughs> Okay, I don't know which virgin he wants to hear. I, uh, maybe he wants to hear virgin as born again virgin or virgin as virgin. Besides, I will hear virgin. I quote 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 17. If a man be in Christ, it's a new creation. All things are passing. Behold, the engine has become new. The engine has become new. <laughs> All right, let's close. Hallelujah. I wish you well. I pray that God will grant you all blessed marriages, favorable marriages. The Lord will honor you and favor you. Stand to your feet. Let's pray concerning your marriage. We want to pray about your marriage, your courtship to marriage, relationships like that. Hallelujah. Say amen. I want you to lift your two hands unto the Lord and ask the Holy Spirit to lead you and bless your future, bless your home, bless your marriage, grant you grace in the name of Jesus. Come on, lift your voice right now in just one minute. We close. Re receive the blessing before you go. I'm going to pronounce the benediction. Kikaroda kazi liya tada kadibra ante ziya da koshalala riya da koziliba a giga da da bahade gadi ya da bozi de de raba da bahashada da giya de 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 Somebody prophesy into your married life. Hey! 
Help your children. Help your children. If you are in a relationship that is going through difficulty, if you are in a marriage that is going through difficulty, somebody release a prayer, release a benediction upon that relationship. You are in a difficult, difficult situation. Bring it before the throne of God. Come on in the name of Jesus. Rada da bahano zililia. Akio! Hallelujah. Before we all engage the altar tonight, I want to pray with you. I want to stand with you in prayer. Let me say this before I do that. Marriage can collapse your ministry if it is not good. Let me put it this way. Maybe you will understand. Marriage is sweet with the right person. So the question then becomes, how do I get the right person? Let the Holy Spirit lead you. Don't be carried away with your emotions. Number two, don't be carried away with your needs. The man meets my needs. The woman meets my needs. No. Be led by the Spirit of God. I mean, with the right person, you may not have money, but you are content because it's sweet. I want you to lift your two hands as I pray with you. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring your children before your throne. He that finds a wife finds a good thing and solicits your favor. A faithful man who can find. And so we bring Proverbs chapter 20 verse 6 and Proverbs chapter 31 verse 10 together. And I'm asking you, Heavenly Father, to bless your children with the right husbands and with the right wives. And bless their future with marriage. Marriage that will be a pleasure in your eyes. Connect them to the miraculous and the supernatural. Give them the wisdom, oh God, to drive marriages. Give them, oh God, the skill in the name of Jesus. Let them raise up Christian homes with God-fearing people and children. In the name of Jesus, may they never lack any good thing. I pray that your favor and your grace will be their portion. So, Father, bless them with value and versatility. I pray with vision. Bless them, O oh God, with inner and outward beauty. Bless them, O oh God. Grant them the ability to possess a pure vision. I pray in the name of Jesus. Grant them the grace, O oh God, to walk with love without any reservations. Prosper their cause in the name of Jesus. Let this meeting be a Christmas gift that everybody goes home with. I pray for people who have not met anybody yet. Connect them because you are the best matchmaker in Jesus' precious name. I rebuke the devil. Anybody having spiritual attacks, having dreams where spirits I have an intercourse and sexual dreams. I cancel it. I come against every demonic entity that rises against your children. I declare no weapon formed against you will prosper. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Are you clapping? I want you to pick up an offering. Everybody watching us online, you are blessed. You want to sow a seed into this. Pick up an offering. Pick up a seed. We will engage the altar of God. And I declare over your finances. And I declare over your enterprise that you will never lack. You will never run dry. In Jesus' precious name. Come and engage the altar. Touch the altar. And tell the Lord what you are expecting. In the name of Jesus. Come on, touch the altar. Tell the Lord what you are expecting. Again, see the dead in the head. Appear in all Canada. I pray for your children. 
I ask in the name of Jesus that your glory will overshadow them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hey! Grant us favor. 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 Favor! In the name of Jesus. Favor. Stand to your feet. Tomorrow morning we are having a Christmas service. It's a joint service. We are all meeting in the presence of the Lord and the house of God. You can't miss it for anything in the world. Your two hands are lifted up unto God. The service will start tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Don't miss it. Branches you are starting at 10 except East Legon Hills. They are starting at 6 in the evening. Nine as well. Okay, you also starting nine. We are starting Pantan Junction. We starting at ten. Yeah. Oh, I promised you chocolate. I brought it, but I realized that we are more than the chocolate. Yeah, I, I brought you chocolate. And I'm in Kopi Binga. Nami huno da ben madirama. Ladies first. One each be a bar connection area, so one each will be a bit. Oh, one each, a media chocolate, a bit per bark. Okay, be a senior area, say one person will get one chocolate. We've got one quality street, one heroes. Our number is just too much for that, but let's try. Did it you to meet your chin here, Mahoma? A bit in my ear. Let's see. Let's let's see what you can do. Everybody, one one try. Answer one saying how. Chocolate bar kope the other na ube fumo ho. Bar kope. Oh please. Ne me wi a me wi ni mi nu mi nu. I bless it in Jesus' name. Amen. Where are you? They might was so well. Like ladies. But you enjoy my ladies first. Yeah. Be me be a no. Unye romantic. One sign is spiritual. <laughs> May the Lord bless you. I will catch you. 31st night service, we are going to the Fadama AstroTurf Stadium. Don't miss it. It's going to be awesome, awesome. It's an all white. But before 31st night, this Sunday in the morning, the W3 service will be receiving Uncle Ato, will be joining us in the morning service. It's Thanksgiving, annual Thanksgiving. That is how our Christmas is started. Today, tomorrow, and then Saturday is out. Sunday, we'll be meeting. And then we'll be going, my team will be going for our waiting, three days fast. And then we'll come back for the 31st night service. Say amen. I love you. Thank you for coming. You guys online, you are just too much. We love you, God, richly, richly bless you. You can sow your seed online by the numbers that are on the screen. Say a good amen. Let me thank God for uh, my management team led by Andrew Sesu. Let me thank God for uh, uh, the Susan Urusu Memorial Chorale. You guys have become family. We love you. Thank you so very much. Merry Christmas to you. And all of you, we love you. Thank you for coming in Jesus' name. This time was not wasted. It is well, well invested in Jesus name amen but if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior your right hand is on your chest say dear Lord forgive me of all my sins the whole
whole humanity, the human race, one of the words that is making us all mad is the word trend. What is the song that is trending today? The Christians want to know the secular song that is trending. The Christians want to know the celebrity making news today. The Christians have gone mad. We want to follow what is trending. People get up in the morning and they want to ask what's trending today. Jesus is trending the whole day and you have refused to see it. Jesus is trending everywhere and you have refused. What is trending? Today, I'm telling you, dear brother, Jesus is trending the whole day.